What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we are back with more Scholar of the First Sin for you. So I do got to say, this area has been a whole hell of a lot easier thus far. With the, uh, for the most part, the removal of the lying guys. It's been a much, much easier time to go through this area. Because those guys I can actually kill, you know, the lying guys. They were something else, man. Just the, the innate resistances they have against elemental attacks made them a real pain in the ass. So, before we go and take on all the stuff to the right, looks like another one of you wants to die. So obviously, be very cautious around the curse pots. I suggest breaking them as soon as you possibly can. The last thing you want to deal with is the curse. Now, before we go over there, couple other things we're gonna get. This looks like, this has, there's an enemy inside me written all over it, so we're gonna wait for that guy to come over. He's like, poise? What's that? I have infinite amounts. Really? Nothing inside? A giant barrel like that with no enemy? I gotta say I'm a bit surprised. So if you have a Frangrip branch, you can use one right here. Um, if I remember correctly, it's some decent loot. I want to say it's decent. So we're going to actually, yeah, we're going to use the branch on this guy. Um, we're going to back on up because obviously there is a couple curse urns right there. And we don't want to deal with all that. So we'll back up, let him chase after us. And if you're playing a pure sorcerer, these guys are really hard. As you can see, physical damage on the other hand is quite powerful against them. I'm actually surprised the Silver Black Spear is as effective as it is here because I figured with the innate higher dark damage to it, it wouldn't be. Okay, Lion Mage and another Fragrant Branch. So. Um, for those that don't know, Lion Mage is a really, really good set for casters. Now, the Hexer's Hood is pretty much a staple of casting because on top of giving us one to intellect, or one to intelligence, excuse me, and one to faith, it also increases the number of casts for spells, making it very, very powerful. The Hexer's Robe and uh, the gloves and all that, on the other hand, you know, no real benefit from those. However, the Lion Mage Robe, despite the significantly lower defenses, as you can see, it improves our casting speed, and that applies to cuffs and the skirt as well. So, just to put it all in perspective, right now you can see, and given we're at 28 attunement, so we're not you know done with our build yet, but right now our casting speed is at 155. You know that's that's pretty good. Toss this stuff on, and we're up to 180. So that's obviously a you know pretty significant increase there. Will help out our cast speed quite a bit, just to visualize it better. That is with the gear. So you can see it is a very, very small difference, but regardless, a difference nonetheless. And in a game where frequently things come down to the wire, every little bit of casting speed does help. Area of hole. The hole is what we want. There we go. All right. So this is the hole we're looking for. Open that up. Good old homing soul mass. And here's our buddy. Ah, and I felt a bit too alive. And like every oh my, but if you the dark. So basically, this is the guy that you need to talk to to join. The, the Dark Covenant. I don't remember what the damn Covenant name is, but it's the one where you basically kill Dark Lurker. On top of that, um, that's the Covenant you go through to get stuff like... Well, you already have Great Resonant Soul, but you get some really high-end hexes from the Covenant, making it a very worthwhile for a hexer. However, you got to find him in three separate locations. One being right here, one in Dranglet Castle, and one down in... Um, God, I'm trying to remember what the, the name is. Down in the Black Gulch. Find him down in the Black Gulch. Very similar to the spot where you pick up the, uh, what's it called? I can't fucking think right now. Where you're, right, right, very similar to where you would fight the, 
the Giants. The Giants, there we go. I don't know why I was having so much trouble remembering what they were called, but yes. Um, so before we get that guy, I'm going to check over here. More of these very large barrels. God, those guys hit so hard, it's absurd. So we are going to re-enchant this. I feel like they might have messed with their resistances a bit. They don't seem to be as difficult as they used. Ghost Lockstone. That's actually just a... Look at you with your big shiny gold mane. Oh, aren't you special looking? You're dead. Seems like just about everything here. They really did drastically increase the number of things affected by a fragrant branch. I know I have one more left, but I don't know of any other areas that are locked off without a branch. So instead of getting that guy, because I don't know... I mean, he might drop an item. I'm not 100% and I'm not willing to waste the branch to find out. I'd much rather see what is in the chest that this guy is blocking. God damn it, you piece of shit. All three backstabs just completely whiffed, not going through. Repair human effigy and bleeding serum. Alright, so, not the, the best use of a branch in all honesty, but in the very least, three effigies is pretty good, so. Fatty. <laughs> That is the first time I actually think the fatty message was placed well. Damn it. Before we run in, if at all possible, I would like to maintain my status. Got that urn. Another Pharaoh's Lockstone. <clears throat> Get rid of that guy. Alright, there's our main man. One more thing, this we got a break though. Ooh, here. Give me goodies. Chunk, shard, and bolt stone. If I remember correctly, that's actually one of the first bolt stones you can find in the game. Dark Scythe. It's really just a regular scythe that's been chained up with dark. So obviously, don't hit this guy, he's chill. So he says nothing. However, put on our ring of whispers and dun da da da. Human, are we? This is no place for you. Be gone. Are you not afraid of humans? Those who do turn back when they see me. But you. He once had a mask, but he was born with a fatal flaw. He resented those who had what he lacked and became fully... Eventually, it was at the peak of this madness that he conjured up. Our master was a tr... Eventually, his... In the end, he, what it was that he... Nobody knows or where I'm not. The only one to even speak a human tongue are myself and... I... Once, I always found her at my... She became vile. Eventually, she came... We have been locked in combat. We seem to be at a standstill. I was born of my master's map. I will be sure. The past. My name was. The past. The past. Okay. So now that we are through with his dialogue chain, basically he'll come and assist us with the boss. So, 
I'm not sure how much they changed, but I know previously you would go to get the Black Knight Halberd back that way. That may or may not still be the case. Um, you know, all in all, it's an alright weapon. Really not amazing, but if you're, uh, if you're focusing on a Halberd and you're doing kind of a split stat deal, it does pretty well. So either way, we do have him on our side now, so we are in a position to go take on the boss. Of course, don't forget to change your ring back. I hear something. Oh, it's probably those guys down there. Thought maybe another invisible guy was coming after me. Alright, quick check for loot. Nothing. Yeah, now this one does have something, but you gotta run up the stairs if I remember, right? Let's see if that remains. Hey! What's up, buddy? <laughs> don't, oh, don't you scare me like that. That bastard with a ring lives in Brighton. I'm gonna find him and settle the school. For the good of the... I won't let that bastard... I actually, despite all the hundreds and hundreds of hours I put into uh, to Dark Souls 2 back on Xbox 360, I actually never finished up that quest chain. I think that might have been the one spot where I never found him. That was right. Alright, so I think we got all of our loot. At this point, let's go take on a boss. Of course, after talking to him, Man Scorpion Talk is now summonable. He's pretty badass too. Does a good job. On top of that, he's huge. So let's get buffed up here. Focus on. Uh, she's probably big enough for. Earth. No, actually, she's probably not big enough for here. Let's focus with Dark War. So this boss can be a little bit tricky. You see her right there. Um, now one thing we're going to do is to get this item here, we're going to come on over this way and we want her to basically burrow towards us and it looks like she's going straight for Man Scorpion Tark instead. My orbs aren't even connected. Now we got our attention. You obviously don't want to let those hit. Now we need her to go underground. It usually has a. F there we go. Okay. So now that she's underground, we're gonna run over here to this tree. You should. You can kind of see her moving. Wait right here for her. She should pop up and take this tree down. Damn it. Maybe it's not gonna happen because Man Scorpion Tark is here. Um, in the worst case scenario, <clears throat> I think it's just a flame butterfly, so you know, nothing really spectacular there. No, you're not, you're not losing out on anything insanely awesome by not having her do that, so no worries. Scorpioness falls. Uh, if you are having trouble with the boss when she's burrowing around, you can stand right here. This is basically the safe spot where she won't burrow, but... Either way, another one bites the dust, so... You on? Man, my spear is just about broken, too. Obviously, this is the fun area. Hopefully, we'll get a couple invasions while we're here. using my spear since it's the verge of breaking here. Kill that one. Kill this one. 
now this entire area is uh, kind of tricky. You don't know what you're doing. Let's go this way and get Gavlan. Make it. From here on out, Gavlan will be here, assuming you found him in the other areas. Now this area is optional. Uh, you don't have to go through it, as you saw right there. If I go straight this way and go on up, that'll lead me to Brightstone Cove, Saldora. However, we are accomplishing everything, so we will be going through. Kill this guy. Grab this chest real fast. Dragon Charm. And then we run on down. Prism Stone. Alright. So next episode we're going to be taking on the Doors of Pharos. We'll go all the way through that area and kill a boss. Um, obviously this one was a little short, but there's not all that much to the Shaded Ruins and the Scorpionus. If I had another Fragrant Branch of Yore, it would have been a little bit longer, but it seems like the game is just tossing a ton of those out right now. So do basically unpetrify those other dudes. So either way guys, make sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you in a couple hours with the next episode.